What's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you a couple of tricks with cheap dollar store paracord and how to join it together to a rod handle right after this. All right, guys, let me start out by saying this is not a paracord that you want to go rock climbing with. It's not a paracord that you want to try and tow a boat with or anything under pressure. That would, it would be a disaster. What I found out messing with it, there's rubber in the middle of this and braided I guess braided synthetic material around it. The only thing this is really good for is decorative stuff. So now that we got that out of the way and nobody's going to try to get hurt, I'm going to show you how to join these two colors together and I'm going to try to make it easy. Now what you want to do is pull this down to where you can get some of this material out of it. And then pull it back up. It'll be frayed a little bit, but that's fine. Where well, it's hollow right there in the middle. Take you a pencil and make sure this end is wide. You want to put it in there. And I'll show you why here in a minute. Take your lighter on this and kind of make this even around through our it'll kind of melt. All right, now that's wide. Now you want to take your red one, pull the material out of it. See, it's a weird material. It's not rope or anything. It's kind of like rubber. Pull all this down. Cut it off. Pull it back up as best as you can. Now, if you ain't used to dealing with stuff that's hot, you might ought to get a pair of pliers. You want to try to get this as small as possible. Because this is going to slide into the end of this might have to take some and push it in there a little bit <clears throat> just push it on down that hole Now, after you get this pushed down in this hole, you want to take your lighter and just heat it up a little bit and push them. Now, you might have to do this several times because it has to bond together in that small space. And you can pull it like that. You got a good bond. Alright. Let's move on to wrapping the rod.
now. Before you start wrapping this rod, you want to take your lighter and make this right here flat that it's going to hold on to. That way you don't have a ripple right there in your rod. Then you can start with your wrap. And try to remember to make it as tight as possible so it don't slip. But if it's loose, I've got a remedy for that. And this nub right here, I got something else to go in there that you might want to check out. Keep on making it real tight. Make sure there's no gaps around it. Pull it down to your fingernail. Now, we're going to speed this up real quick so we can get to where I show you in the middle. How the joining the two together looks. So, here we go. Now, here's where it joins. See that? It's not going to be too recognizable. So, we'll keep on wrapping. And hopefully, it'll turn out good. Now, we're going to take some 80 pound mono and, or you can use 80 pound braid. Now what you want to do is put this across this trigger guard right here under under the wrap. I'll show you why here in a minute. It's probably help if I had two people to do this, but by myself today so I'll try to do this the best I can Get as close to that as you can. So nobody sees anything. It's 
Set it off. Now, you want to take this 80 pound line and put Grab it like this and pull that up in there. But you better get a pair of pliers or you'll cut your hands. So, got a pair of pliers. Give it a good two wraps here. We're going to have to kind of spread it out with a, pulling it down like that. Now I mentioned earlier, I'll tell you what to do with this, since it's hard. It's a table leg protector from Walmart. Here you can get them a box of them for 99 cents. But I don't know what it'd be in your area. It's a, they call them a, rubber tips uh, table tips so just want to put that on that end right there got that one black spot right there now earlier I was talking about, I had a remedy for this being a little loose. All you got to do is take your lighter and go up and down it. Don't hold it too long or it'll turn black. This causes any kind of paracord to tighten up. And it gives a good, solid, constrict, like, kind of like a snake. Uh, cooling around something and strangling it till it dies. So, just go up and down it with a lighter. It will cause it to heat up. It will cause them braids to constrict around this. It'll make it a lot more comfortable too. Just kind of take your hand while it's warm and just push it. This, that should give you a good, solid paracord wrap. Alright guys, let's see this close in a lot. Looks pretty good for just a dollar for paracord. I wish that black wasn't on there, but it'll be all right. That's going to be my red, white, and blue fishing rod. I might even give it to a neighbor down the road. He's a veteran. He has trouble gripping big handles with his arthritis. But it's hard... <laughs> It's hard to get him to take anything for free. But. 
I hope this hack helps you. I hope it helps you decorate your rods the way you want them. And if you got a blue rod that you're not using anymore, maybe decorate it up a little bit. Make a veteran's day. Give it away to them. If you don't use it that much, it might make their day. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to check out my other videos, just subscribe. I got over 50 videos on hacks and different baits and stuff to use. Chill again. This is Hack the Fish. And I'm out.